Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Irvin, with another manga review. This is going to be on uh, how to treat magical beasts. There, there is the cover. You can't really see it with this light. There it is. Um, it's a privilege to be able to review this one. Uh, so it's a great one. It just came out. Um, Seven Seas Entertainment has released it already. And I'll leave a link below where you guys can go buy it. So uh, how to treat magical beasts is... It's a unique story, uh, I'll put it like that. Uh, you have this girl who, whose family has always had magic, she's lived with magic, but she's an apprentice of a doctor essentially, uh, a medical guy, and she's trying to learn more of the medicine. She wants to help magical creatures, but the more people don't believe in magic, the more the magical creatures are disappearing and... Uh, a lot of them are hurt. She can't take care of them. Uh, so there's different stories that go throughout the uh, the volume. And uh, she encounters a salamander. She encounters uh, a rabbit that's actually a different type of magical creature. As well as at the end, she encounters a, a horse who's able to swim in the river. So all these different creatures, she's able to help them. Except for the last one because it's kind of like a to be continued story um, with both magic and current medicine and uh, throughout the volume she is really just learning from this medical guy that there was old times that some stuff was considered magic but it wasn't magic it was just plants and herbs that people used and they were painkillers and other stuff but the magical creatures still seem to be real so I, I'm not 100% sure, like, what all this world is still. If he can actually see the creatures or... I mean, because a lot of times he's surprised to see them. So I'm not really sure what's going on. I mean, 100% sure what the twist is going to be on this one. But it's a very sweet one. It's very... She's 13 years old. The guy is older than her, obviously. And he's training her. And there's this kind of like a daughter-father relationship not really but there there is that relationship between there um and it's very sweet she is always worried about these animals and he always comforts her and is able to help her help these magical creatures and he is also learning from her from all these also magical creatures and magical techniques that she has to use or that her mother slash grandmother has left her behind to use so different questions that comes to my mind and could be in the first volume that I might have ignored, uh, is where are her parents? Uh, second of all, we know why has she encountered, hasn't she encountered anyone else throughout the story that actually does see the animals for who they are? There is that one person with the salamander, but there's not more people. It seems like there's a lot of non-believers and very few believers. So I'm wondering if there's going to be something from that and then this should be a twist if she's actually hallucinating stuff. She's not really seeing stuff about what they are. Could be. I'm not really sure. Um, nonetheless, I think it's a really sweet story. And I think it's done a great job with the artwork as well as with the storyline. Uh, out of 10, I would want to give this one right now a 7.5. Uh, why not lower? Why not higher? Uh, well, lower, I think I've made my point. Why not higher? It does move slow in some areas. And this, I, it's kind of the same as with food, uh, manga for me. They go and explain. Sometimes they over-explain stuff. Not always. Uh, th this one's not too bad. But sometimes it's kind of like, okay, get to the point. Get to the plot. Uh, where they're trying to explain medical stuff, medicine, where it come from why they believe certain stuff and that's great that helps the story but it does build a story but sometimes it's just too much for me at least so 7.5 is what i believe it deserves if you agree or don't agree with me leave a comment below as well as a shout out if you want uh thank you so much for all the support and love don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys i would appreciate that so much and then after that you can go like and share and do whatever you want with this video and with other videos in my channel Thank you so much, guys, for all the support again. And like always, don't be strangers.